I'm scrolling on Twitter, minding my own business. Not even trying to bother nobody. And I look on there and I see I see Lil J trending. And I'm like, Lil is like did they spell Lil TJ wrong? Like like who who are we talking about? Bruh, Tupac. Come here. Come here, Baba. Come here. This guy loves the door. Loves the door. Hey, come here for a sec. You're ruining the podcast, nigga. All right. So, this guy, Lil J, I, people, people are thinking that it was Lil TJ. Lil J, there's a video that surfaced. He is chilling in jail. Right? And I don't know who's releasing these videos. We'll get into that later. But Lil J is chilling. And there's someone sitting on his lap. Weird ass video. And I was and I was just like <laughs> when I seen that, because personally back back in it was 2012, when Lil J first came out, he, I'm in the trap house bagging up weed and shit, bumping his music, right? And then I see this video. I'm like, yo, Lil J, why do you have a nigga on your lap? And then there's a next video of him like, I I don't know, of him kissing the man and air and like air pumping, and I was just like, God damn! I was like, yo, so there's nothing wrong. With any of that type of shit. But then I kept scrolling and a fucking King Von video popped up. And let me play the King Von video. Cause this shit is this this one right here. This one right here will like make you go like, wait, what? What? Right here. Full screen for the people. Hold up. So because of your sexual orientation, you're requesting protective custody, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. I heard this and I was like, wait, what? Hello, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> and he blew he blows a kiss at the guy too. I'm gonna fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is when I said I was like, "Wait!" I was like, "Yo, <laughs> buddy, what's going on? What is going on, yo? In, in what's going on in Chicago? Now, there's nothing wrong with any of that shit. If you want to do, you do you." I I we apparently there's been rumors of Lil J doing doing a one two but like that's whatever that's none of my business do you man but the question is the fact of the matter is people are trying to justify what King Von did right they're trying to justify they're trying to say that what what that that's not gay. Now, the thing you can now do. <laughs> this is all. This is all disclaimer. Nobody here has anything. What? It, what's the word called? Anything um, against gay people or anything like that? None of that. Dog. These are jokes, and these are street niggas. So that's what makes it hilarious. Niggas that end their raps talking about fucking all the bitches, fucking your bitch, his bitch, their bitch. All that type of shit, and then to, to find to see these type of clips and these type of videos coming out, it's funny. You know what I mean? It's funny. It's on the funny side. You know what I'm saying? It's like finding out a vegan has a has a fucking freezer full of steak and that they eat on the on the lows that they don't tell nobody. <laughs> God, that's exactly what it is, bro. <laughs> yeah, dog. Air horn for that. Air horn for that. You know what I'm saying? So, when they do that, it's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? It is hilarious to me. Because it's literally like a closet carnivore. But they say, hey, yo, 
I'm vegan though. I don't do none of that. I'm vegan. So that's what makes it funny. It's like, you know, those, those gay, those, not those gay, well, they, when I finish the story, y'all get what I'm saying. You know, those politicians, right? That are like those, those right wing politicians that are like, ban the gay people, do all, ah, we don't, we don't get it. Like those yeah. politicians. But then there's a scandal that, pop, that pops up of them with the next man or a next man exposes them and then they have to resign. It's literally something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes it fun. Exposes them for being gay. Huh? Exposes them for being gay. Yeah, exposes them for being gay, basically. What the fuck? So yeah, there's 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 so many politicians that are, that are like, yo, I'm against that shit. Really? And then they get exposed in like hotel rooms yeah, and pictures and all this type of shit. It gets surprised. wild and crazy, brother. It gets wild and crazy, dog. So. When that type of shit happens, that's basically what it is. So we're not we're not we're not here to do any of that bashing type of shit. We just find it I just find it fucking hilarious. You know what I mean? So the question that everyone's trying to say, is that gay or not? Yes. <laughs> I'll be the first one to tell you. Why are you gay? Okay, so elaborate. Why? <laughs> well, who do you kiss in your life as a heterosexual man? Who do you kiss? Yeah, uh, yeah. Women. Like what? What? For what? Like for what act? Why do you kiss women? Because you love them, right? Yeah. You kiss your mom because you love her. And the bitches. Kiss girls you're dating because you love them. Maybe you don't love them, but you at least love them in a moment. I I love I love all my bitches. So why <laughs> throwing a kiss to a man them. Yeah. You see the connection I'm making? Yeah, you don't you don't blow kiss to man yo. You, see the connection? you don't you don't do that, dog. You don't do it's that. Pretty easy to explain. That's that okay. <laughs> well, that's a... But do you know what people's justification though is? To say that it's not gay. What is Because we gotta we what gotta what else did he say in the video? I forgot it. I only watched it once. He time. says I'm a fuck you too, Josh. Yeah, see, who do you You're man like Josh, exactly. too. So who do you fuck? Women, when you're heterosexual and you're gay, you fuck men. He's talking to a man. He's saying, I'm going to fuck you. So that means he's gay. And blew a on, kiss at him. We don't need to run around. The, the <laughs> but people's shit. justification is that, yo, King Von is smart. He's being tactical. He's being militant in the bin. Because his ops are in there. No, let, me, let, me, let me explain it to you. Okay? Let me explain it to you. Okay? Because his ops are in there. So since his ops are in there, right? Mm. He can't go in there. It's too many. He's overpowered. So the only way to get out of it is to claim that you're gay. So, and to give them a hate crime <laughs> so that you can, you can go somewhere else. And they're saying oh, if bro, my bro. ops, are, so here's the thing: a lot of people, I think they low key came out because they're like, if my ops were in there, I would, I would do the same thing. I feel like, bro, you're, I feel like... <laughs> would you, would you do the same thing? No. If fifty of your ops were in the same room, and the CEO's like, this is your, this is where you're going. No. You're in the bin. Your whole life, no matter what, bro. He had two bodies. I swear he got sentenced to life or whatever. Nah, doctor. but he beat the case at the time. But he was, he had a, he had an M over his head though. Yeah, exactly. So if you face an M, bro, why are you, why are you doing that? Like you, you know you're gonna be there forever. You gotta just hug it. Like, wow. <laughs> are you really gonna? You're already in jail. Are you gonna really stoop to another low? Like, come on. You already fucked your life. <laughs> But he has to. But what? But here's the thing, bro. He has to get back on the streets, and kill those same ops. You know when they come out. Yeah, like what did the gang say about that? I don't know if they seen the tapes till now. Hmm. I don't know if they seen the footage. Yo. I wonder how the block's feeling right now. Oh, the block. The yeah. block's hot. We'll say that. <laughs> oh no, the block's fire. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how the, uh, the block is feeling. About <laughs> so I guess the song I Am What I Am has a lot more meaning to it. The song I Am What I Am, if another, who would I be? <laughs> <That's> like, <yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, broski. So, but then, <laughs> here's the thing, right? Here's the main thing. The main thing. The main thing is that some, some of these niggas is in denial about it. You know what I mean? Like Lil, Lil, Lil J, right? He was on, I think he was on Say Cheese interview. And like, this is before the tapes came out. And they asked him, they said, Ayo, bro. So, uh, we've been hearing some things, you know? In the bin, you know, you've been, you've been doing your, uh, your shaboing boing type of thing, you know? And then, <laughs> right? So, he was claiming, nah, man. Nothing like that, bro. We don't do nothing like that. And then I'm on King Acad I'm not King well yeah King Academics has the channel. Shout out to shout out to DJ Academics. I'm on his stream, right? Mm. And they're 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 breaking down the tapes and shit, right? <laughs> so so freaking King Yella goes on there and he says that Lil J one time they're on they're on E, right? They they took some they took some bars or whatever. And there were no bitches that pulled up, right? Mm. The, the, apparently the man Lil J was trying to was trying to pull kiss up on on King Yellow or some shit like that. One of the man them there, I, and then he, the, so since then they kind of had like a hunch. They were like, "Yo, hey yo, what the fuck? How many blood clots? How many blood clots? So when the shit when the tapes came out, a lot of people weren't really like surprised over that. Now. My my opinion on this, okay. There is a lot of ways that if if your ops are in there and you don't want to be in there, I think there's like other ways to get around that besides saying, "Hey guys, I'm gay." And did you not think about the fact that you're gonna have to fight people in jail when you were killing people? <laughs> allegedly, that, allegedly. Am I wrong for thinking that you should maybe think the fact that you might have to fight someone in jail? <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but if someone said, "Yo, Adam, you're going to jail," the first thing I'd prepare for is fighting people. Especially, is that not, am I wrong? Yeah, especially if I was like a menace. <laughs> if I was a menace <laughs> on the ops block, if I was fucking up the ops block, if I was fucking up the ops block, uh, maybe that's just me. I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe he's just in his head new. He's like, oh, if I go to jail, I'll just be gay. <laughs> but like, but why is that your first option? Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Most niggas, you know what they do? They see the first person, they start beating him up. Boom. You know what I mean? They get separated. Or they get sent to, what is it? Truly boneless. Solitary. Or, or you go to the CO and you plead for your life. Just hug your beating if you're not confident in winning a fight. Dude. Or plead for your life. Like, Yo, these niggas is going to kill me if I go in there. I got beef with them. They're going to kill me. Here's a question for you now. Yeah. That's what Would I heard you could do. rather get folded or have to pretend to be gay your whole life or just be gay? Which one would you rather? You fold me, nigga. Exactly. So what are we even talking about here? I'm what squaring up. And it's not even like you just have to hug being folded. Like You get a chance to fight back. You can you can fight back. Nah, I know you're saying you can fight back, but you nah, like you you have to fold me, bro. Cause that's what I'm saying. I'd rather just get folded every day. Than be and gay. I, I'm not gonna kind of I'm not gonna disrespect that community by saying I am something that I'm not too. Yeah, I just have to be that. Imagine that's your whole life. You that, have because to be gay. you're not gay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that, that exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, no pun intended. Yeah, but he, nah, he probably is gay though. The way he's talking in that video. <laughs> Something's up with him. He was too confident. He was, he was too confident with that. Yeah. Something is clearly up with him now. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You can't be talking like that, came <laughs> Oh my That's god. Really it was just it was too much. And then But here's okay, here's here's my opinion on this whole this whole thing. And I'm going to be done with this topic. But there are different ways to do handle it, from what I hear. So if you can handle it in any other way, and play, and if you know, you're, well, I guess he doesn't know the lock, or else he wouldn't, he wouldn't be in such a pickle. But if you knew more of the law, I'm pretty sure if you feel like your life is in danger and you are going to die, they're gonna move you because they would rather have you alive than dead in there. This is not a shot at King Vaughn. How are you 
too pussy to fight someone, but you're not too pussy to shoot someone. That's another. That's a. That's another conversation, like, though. Like, because the only explanation for this that would bail King Von out is pretending that he's gay to not be beat up, right? Yeah. Or else you're, he's just. That's the. That's the only out. That's the only out. That's the only out. So I feel like it's a lose lose either way because even if you're pretending to be gay and it's just you lost every bit of respect. You know what I mean? But he's he's. I, it's like well, how are you too pussy to shoot someone? Or sorry, too pussy to fight someone? I don't think I don't someone. I don't think it's, that it's, it's just like why? Yeah, like what the fuck? That is true. But another thing is I don't think he thought that they were gonna release the fucking prison tapes. But you don't think there's any man in prison that's gonna get that back to the block? I mean, like, they, that's fuck? just hearsay, right? Like, if the ops are in his jail that are trying to fight him, they're going to be like, yo, King Von was gay in jail. No, but what if he said that to the COs and then the COs, like, snuck him out and then he was taunting them after they, they let him out? No, but he would have to be gay the whole time. So, so that means you'd have to tell him he's gay the moment he walked in there? No, but he le- he said to another guy, I'm going to fuck you, right? Yeah. So who's the other guy? Another inmate, obviously. It's Josh. So that means he's there being gay with another inmate. So the other inmates are going to see that. And you're telling me there's not one of those people. Oh, that's going to go happen. back to the block. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're crazy? saying. crazy? But, no pun intended, but what if, what if it went back to the block and no one really gave a fuck because... The nigga. No, I, I highly doubt The nigga that. has, like, you know, the nigga's a menace. That would have gotten out before. That would have gotten out. He's a quote unquote There's menace. There's no way, bro. There's no way. I don't know. Apparently, he was a demon on the block, so. No way people in O Block just knew King Vaughn was gay. It was like, oh, it's no big deal. It's King Vaughn. Have you heard of Omar? Have you heard of. Like, no, have, you heard of have, have you heard of a man named Omar from The Wire? No. You know the show The Wire? I don't. It's based in Baltimore, right? And it's about. Um, just the streets of Baltimore, hood hood shit, right? Mm-hmm. But it was on HBO, so it was like, it was it was like nice, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It just elbows in there before he blew up. So, anyways, there's a gay gangster named Omar. Everyone is afraid of this guy. The moment he walks down the street, very... the moment he walks down the street, like the kids go, "Yo, guys, Omar's coming!" and everyone like runs away type shit. And he fucks niggas. And no one says shit about it. No one tells him shit, cause he'll just kill him. <laughs> so I'm like, he could be one. Of, you know what I'm saying? It could be one of those scenarios. But then everyone would have knew he was gay already, and no one knew he was gay. <laughs> that means no one. No, it could have been a hood secret that no one said anything. And, and then now that he's possible. Bro. <laughs> no Zero. I'm just. <laughs> Oh man, rest in peace, King Von. I don't know why this nigga died. I have nothing that... against him. Yeah. I have nothing against him, if even if. But this is just to me. It's just funny. It's funny. So to me, it's just funny in terms of even okay. Even if he did that just to get out of it, King Von is a hilarious nigga, bro. Even if that was. Even if okay, just look look at it. If you have a sense of humor, just look at it from a sense of humor point of view. He's like, yo, fuck this. I'm gonna get out of it by just yo. Let me just act like funny? I'm gay. I think that's. Funny. I think that's funny. I don't think that's funny. It takes a gangster with a sense of humor to do some shit like that. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think that's funny. He was smiling and shit too in the video, so it doesn't look like he was like serious. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna, like you know. Dissect science and shit and facial expression. I don't think that's. No. I don't think many people were thinking that's funny. No, you're not. You're not. I don't think many people were, or are. I thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was fucking hilarious, yo. I was like, yo, that's that's funny. It's weird. He's like, how can I get out of this? Not even how can I get out. It's not even the fact that he's gay is weird. It's the fact that he was just. Lying to be gay in prison or to get out of it, or there's one or two options, like we said before. He's either lying to be gay in prison, which is weird, or he's just normally gay and was lying about it, which is also weird. Like, yo, if you're gonna be gay, just be open about it. You, know? <laughs> you can't be open about it on old block, nigga. 
That's a good point, but then also just, just like I feel like that's part of being a gangster. Niggas won't take him yeah. serious when he pulls down, bro. When he when he slides, when he does but, runs but a you're drill. Doing it in jail, like it makes no sense. <laughs> I don't. I, it doesn't make sense to me. I'd be ten toes down that's wherever I'm sense. at. Yeah, that shit makes no sense. I'd be ten toes, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever the case may be, bro. I would fight literally an eight foot tall, five hundred pound person, bro. And go fuck. No, Before fuck I do that. that, bro. Are you crazy? Well, thoughts and prayers, and rest in peace, King Von. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's but that's that's another <laughs> thing though. Like it's like he did all that just to never mind. Wait, so he wasn't even in the bin for life? No. Wait, Holy you thought shit, you thought King Von was in the? Fucked up. No, nigga, he was, he came out because he beat the he beat the. How case. did that not hit the block? That's everyone's question. What? So then, and then his girl, his girl was, his girl was like, oh, a lot of you niggas have never been to jail. It shows. And I'm like, she I'm like, bitch, like what? That yeah, she said it like that. Like, it was like a badge of honor. Like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Like, who, like what? Bro, come get these Americans, bro. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Bro? Hey, don't diss some of my viewers, but yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, That's yeah, not, yeah. that ain't a. You know what I mean? I don't know what I mean by that ain't I mean, a like, badge of honor, yo. I'm only saying come get these Americans because think about this. <laughs> There's 10, 10 X people in America than there are in Canada. So for every one weirdo can in Canada, there's 10 in America. Facts. But but for also every one LeBron James. This, this girl is trying to act kind of like she's trade-off. trying to act like it's a badge of honor to go to go to prison or like when people go to prison, that's a normal thing to be like, hey guys, I'm gay, don't jump me. Like, that's, no, no. like, that's, that's a normal thing. I'm genuinely thing. confused how that didn't hit the block. He's saying, I don't, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's actually fucking crazy. Lil J, there was rumors. How are that, you telling someone that in hit jail, the block. I'm gonna fuck you, and then when you leave jail, it's like, oh, it's over. How is that, like, maybe, maybe that, maybe, maybe that nigga yeah, never I've came I've never up. been to jail, actually, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's <laughs> ignorant. Maybe it's just like everyone's gay in jail and then you leave and then no one even says anything about it because it's so cool. There are guys like that. Wrong? There are guys like that, you know? Gay for the stay, you ever heard that? Well, I've, I've never been gay for anything. But there's guys There's guys that when they go there, they're only gay for the stay. That's the only time. Even Tupac I'd Grease. Never go, I'd never go to jail, bro. Hey, man. I'm too old for that shit. That's why we're doing podcasting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we doing podcasting, dog. We're, we went, we're going to bricks to mics, you know what I'm saying? If I'm fighting a man, I'm going to get paid for it nowadays. Fucking up. Oh, brother. Brother, when I get the money, I'm, I, might have to, I might have to start, I might have to see what I'm going. Does she just have to get a license to for that one time? For the fight. For to throw a fight event? Oh, to throw an event? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just have to get a license. If it's right? amateur, you don't, to be honest. Soft, I'll get, I'll, soft. You just want to do I'll get, I'll get, I'll get the. What's that YouTube thing? Um, street beats. You could do that. Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. That'd be easy. Oh, I would totally. Oh man, that would be sick. That'd be Ooh, sick. Wait, that would be sick. That'd be sick. If I could you fund that, that, and you do it somewhere like up north and up there. north. Not even up north. You could probably do it as like a fat like. Um, nah, it'd be nice if you, fam, just for oh, like, actually, yeah, like for like the content and everything. Company. If you do it like on the, yeah. just a cottage, yeah, cottage, like five to ten fights, yeah. two guys. Are you That's same it. Money. You rent out a cottage for the for like the weekend, and yeah, you, you just get, do like, do a pay per view. Get two sponsors, pay each dude like a couple hundred bucks a fight. Get one, get one weed like weed dispensary to sponsor it, and then get a next. Yeah, and then five dollar entry. Ooh, and then have their 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 merchandise and their weed there. And just have one one rep there to sell the weed so that it's it's still halal. It's still halal, you know what I'm saying? Dog, you, have, if you ever if you ever want to throw an event, holla at your boy. Is fighting her mom? Fighting? Yeah. Like sport fighting. No, because both people are consenting, consenting to fight. Okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's why there's a lot there's a lot of Muslim fighters. But obviously assault is not. Assault is haram. <laughs> yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 two people are like, yes, I am ready to fight. I am yeah. willing to, then yeah. You're, you're supposed to leave 
innocent people like Islam that's, that's Islam and like anybody culture. that's like pure innocent like innocent like you leave them the fuck alone that's probably something in every culture that's every it's culture but like combat. yeah like this if is, two people are agreeing to fight there's no well back in the day back in the day you had to spar because if the other village comes and your niggas ain't fucking up to par they ain't been doing their push ups yeah, if true. Jamal and fucking Raheem are chilling in the back just smoking the fucking herb off the ground and there's only one man that could fight what happens when I mean, a tribe I'm comes think, what would be some good matchups we could do a good like good matchups Tyrone versus no no sorry T- Terrell versus T- or T-Rell versus anybody no <laughs> I mean, super I mean... heavyweight matchup um I don't, I don't know anybody, but T T Rex is nah, someone I in mind. A, oh, I know someone who's like the same kind of like built the same way. And you wouldn't want to run a pay. I would, pay. I would pay. I would put a hundred bucks on that. We'll see what happens. <sighs> he, he'd be down. He'd be down to we're, fight. We're just cooking. The podcast is listening. Hey man, sometimes that's what happens. You be cooking. So, <laughs> moral of the story is. is moral of the story is. I'm taking you off track. Also. Whatever you want to be. Be that. Whatever you want to love, whoever you want to love, love them. However, it's 2023. Don't have to hide it anymore. <laughs> Especially, I mean, I mean, if you're in like fucking what, Nigeria, Saudi, Saudi Arabia, those type of countries, like, cool. But North America, you ain't got to hide that shit anymore, man. You're good to go. You know what I'm saying? You could still be gay and have your tutu in your in your deuce deuce. You know what I'm saying? Still ready to shoot a nigga up. Look at Omar. He is the blueprint. <laughs> all right. All jokes aside, though. <clears throat> thoughts and prayers, and recipes can run. Thoughts and all prayers, right. as in like thoughts because he died. You know what I mean? Like thoughts and prayers. Like yeah. Shout out to Dirk. Shout out to all of them. Shout out to King Yella. Everybody. Everybody in Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. We fuck with Chicago. Let's give Chicago a round of applause. There we go. Can't lie, Chicago gave us a lot of greats. There. A lot of greats. There. Bernie Mac, fucking the Chicago Bulls, period. That's like, that's a mic drop. So, yeah. So, 